and about the uh, uh, as, as injury was obviously in the same meeting. I will never get to them. I will give long answers, but I'll try to keep it uh, serious. Uh, he broke his neck uh, against us at Ellis Park in a big win. And I went and visited him on the Monday morning because the New Zealand flew back. And I know I'll, I've had a jaw break twice in Sydney. I know how lonely it gets in a foreign country alone there. Uh, you don't know how other medical aid work, how good the doctors are, and those kind of things. So I went to visit him on the Monday. Uh, so we know each other a little bit closer than the normal All Blacks, you know, had a coffee and stuff with him there in the bed. And you could see the guy was going through a tough time because a neck injury is uh, probably something that can stop your career or, you know, you can get, you know, this, uh, a lump, a little bit more that. Paralyzed, you get get paralyzed, you know. So uh, he was obviously going through some emotional stuff there. And to be honest with you, I don't think he did any of that on purpose. Uh, I think it, a yellow card might have been appropriate or penalty would, would have been appropriate. But uh, he came afterwards and I said to him, listen, we're not going to cite. Uh, we're not going to cite you on that because you have 12 hours to cite. And if the citing commissioner obviously pick it up and he thinks it needs a red card uh, threshold, they call it, uh, then they investigate it. But he, he, they went for everything. Uh, and, and that specific one didn't come up as a breaking the red card threshold. So, and, and he came and apologized. And uh, when you look at the action, yes, all of us can go a little bit lower, but I, I don't think he went for Sia's head with his head, because it was actually not the shoulder, it was actually the head hitting him on the nose. So, no, sometimes it goes for you and sometimes it goes against him. That poor guy was a red card in the World Cup final. Uh, uh, wouldn't have been nice to get red card again. And how, see, and how did Sia get to training this week? Oh, see us, uh, the question was to Sia on Sunday, uh, after they did all the scans. To Sia, will you be half-hearted going into contact? You know, because your nose is sore and it's swelled up and cheekbone is blown out. And, uh, and I, I said, no, well, let's go to Sia now. So that's why I didn't even mind, uh, why I mentioned it on Tuesday morning, because Sia had to get through Monday. Uh, internally, we, we we announced the team with him starting slash Marco. But then on Monday evening, he did all the contact sessions. Tuesday, he went right through. And today on Thursday, I can tell you, he's, uh, um, he didn't even show any... The only problem would have been if he's hesitant. It can't break further. Uh, it, it has to be put back in place. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it might look like Quaha. Thank <laughs> <laughs>